Okay, so I've not done one of these videos in a while, uh, but I do want to go back to actually doing these strategy videos for Splatoon, and good way to start that is with the new map called Murray Towers, and it is on tower control just now, so we'll just jump straight in. Uh, I'll show the gear that I'm using at a later point, but the weapon that I'm using just now is just the Jet Squelcher, as you can see. It is the longest ranged, fully automatic weapon, so it will do quite well here. Now, as you can see, lots of high points, which is good for any weapon really, but with the Jet Squelcher, it just lets it go so far. Let's have a look and see just how far that actually went. All the way down here. <laughs> now, that can come into your advantage, especially in tower control. Now, I'll bring this up here. Especially if you want to play defensively on tower control, at least. Because if you're standing all the way up here, you're going to be able to get people from quite a good distance if they're controlling the tower. And just wipe them out basically. You'll be able to see them before they see you. You'll be able to shoot at them while they can't shoot at you because you're too high up. And just all in all, it does. It's more of a defensive map, I'd say, than going all out attack. Now you can still go all out attack with it, and it's not something I've done quite often on it. Because I prefer just to stay back and defend. Uh, just jump straight down. But I'll move this on its way. Now, with the attack, usually I don't use attacking weapons when I'm playing tower control. Well, obviously, I use an attacking weapon, but I don't often use this weapon for it. I prefer a weapon that comes with a different special. That special being the bubble shield because it just lets you push straight through. Now, if you're on the tower, you've just got to hope that your teammates know what they're doing here. Now, what I tend to do if I decide to go on the offensive is keep this area, just this part here, yours, and use this stuff here as your cover, basically. And Ninja Squid always helps too. Now, if you can, you've got to get on that wall. Which will let you come round to this part here and shoot at the person. If there is one that's standing up here, shooting down, waiting on people. Or up there, shooting down as well. If they're smart, they'll try and keep to the high grounds. No one's going to really be up there or up there because it's too far away from everything. And you can still hit pretty much everything from here anyway that you need to hit. So, and as with this, I've not got a shot of it on Splat Zone yet. But we also have Turf War available to me just now. So I'll do a video on that as well. And that's just going to be like splat shot. Not splat shot, sorry. Um I can't even remember the name of the weapon now. <laughs> the gold gun basically. <laughs> so yeah, if you're defending you want to stay up high. If you're attacking, you want to be sneaky basically. And get in here. You want to be able to make sure they don't hold on to anything while you're just coming around and wiping them out. But do remember, if they're on higher ground, they're going to be able to shoot you before you can shoot them. And that's all for this video. Bye-bye.